Good morning, my family and friends. It's Vaughn Eden, Eden Lake the Garden. So pretty much going to be checking out here from this hostel. Very beautiful hostel at the Crasiva. Like, had a great time here so far on our trip. I'm going to continue the last finish of the, the last part of the trip here. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see Shimkent. Maybe, maybe we'll fly out tomorrow. But uh, try to see a little bit of Shimkent. Definitely, I'll let you guys know what's on the itinerary. So stay track on this adventure, okay? All right, my family and friends, your boy here needs to get to eat because if I don't eat, I'm gonna get hangry. And uh, we're all supposed to be leaving here in like 10 minutes, but it's not gonna happen because everybody's gonna be late because we're all sharing bathrooms. But you know what, Orre, it's not gonna rain because of me. It's not gonna rain because of me. All right, so see you guys on this next part of the adventure. Stay tuned, all right? Today's expedition, we'll be traveling out of Shimkent, where we stayed a night at a hostel with the whole group. And then from Shimkent, we're going to be making a nice drive all the way to a cave called Akmashiet. Now, we'll I'll get into the legendary story behind this cave, the historical significance of this cave. And then from this cave, we're going to be traveling to a monumental spot called Damalek Anna. Now, Damalek Anna, she was a symbol for not just fertility, and Kazakhstan's uh, caring touch and hospitality from a mother's love and she played a huge significance in the Kazakhstan's social history and also historical history so join me um hope you brought your drinking mugs if you're drinking water to camel's milk to vodka let's get into this divide divide what's up my family friends so we got a bonus adventure for you we're gonna be going to the cave Akmish Akmishiet. Akmishiet. All right. So we'll tell you the real actual history, and then we'll tell you the the legend of how this cave was founded. So pretty new spot. It's it was founded 100 years ago, yeah. and uh, so it's a limestone cave back in the Neolithic era, and uh, there's some trees that grow there, the mulberry trees. All right, and. Uh, Getting into the cool stuff, like that that's boring, yeah, it's a cave that was formed from like limestone, whatever, water, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and people think an earthquake happened and like a rock shattered and the cave was discovered. Uh, but the legends go that there was a dragon that actually lived inside this cave who was stealing people's horses and cows and lambs and the people were going hungry because the dragon was really hungry too. Um, the dragon was just trying to live, you know? Trying to not kill people, because then people try to kill a dragon, and it's not good to kill a dragon, because the dragons kill more people. But the dragon lived inside this cave. That's one legend. The other legend is that uh, there was an army that was trying to attack some city, and they were hiding inside this cave because and it was raining a lot. Also was hiding in that cave. Whose kids? Oh, uh, Shungar, uh, the dragon? No. But right, so I know you guys are probably tired of listening to me talk. I'll show you. So here we are, middle of nowhere still, very remote, and we're walking towards the cave. The the cave takes away negativity. Man, we need some of that in the beginning of this trip. <laughs> Avocado over here, complaining that we got no good beds. We finally got a good bed yesterday. We slept like babies. All right, so let's get up to this cave. Let's we'll see what it's all about. Maybe there's dragons in there, maybe there's not. And they said it'll bring your jacket because it's cold in there. So we'll see. My fam and friends, so here we go. We can already feel it's kind of getting a little chilly. <laughs> if you like these adventures, like and subscribe. Vaughn eat in the garden. My my strong 17 subscribers right now. <laughs> This is so beautiful. There's trees here. Avocado. Mulberry trees. And the birds love singing. Look at this. Hello. And I'm scared of heights. I know. So I'm holding on to this rail. 
Look, we need helmets too. We're passing out helmets. I don't wanna wear Hard helmet. <laughs> I'm not trying to get my brains bashed in. I don't got enough brains as it is. You want one? You should. Take it to the expert, he's been hitting the head a lot. <laughs> I've, I've been I'm not sure that it will help a lot if something, something will fall. Oh, it will. I've been hitting the head a lot. I got scars on my head, so I'm, I'm going to wear a helmet. All right. There's a lot of rocks here, a lot of limestone, a lot of people. How come the websites don't talk about stuff like this? Like, when I was Googling top 10 things to do in Kazakhstan, this never popped up. So, Hello? Wow, so beautiful. Look, friends. This is so beautiful. Uh oh. What do y'all think about this place? I know a lot of my friends and family are like spread out throughout the world, but I was telling Avocado here. We're gonna go towards a guide. I was telling avocados that I look up like top 10 things to look in Kazakhstan. I don't see this place up here. So it's pretty cool. <clears throat> Give you some information that I know is that um, this is a, a sinkhole once happened here. See, it started off with a sinkhole. Too much water got built up everything just crashed down you can see that this is all dirt now and the trees are falling in here because they used to be up there so you can also see back there is like uh, used to be um water just coming down so very interesting little history of how caves are formed because i wanted to try to i know this because i wanted to try to go to um the, the longest cave that's in vietnam I don't know, something dang 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 something like that but that's what I wanted to do and I try to learn up the history of how caves are formed okay so as you all know here in Kazakhstan we've already been to like four four places that are like if you make a wish your wish will come true so people here in Kazakhstan believe that everything will heal you so the legend goes is if I put my head right exactly where the water drops um, and I make a wish, it's going to come true. So, divide, divide. Here, you want to see? Oh. Yeah. No? I did. I did have time to make my wish. Yeah. What I found out is like people make stones like this here and hopefully the water drops on it and if it does that their wish comes true. So that's that's why you'll see a lot of stones are stacked here. So there was a old man here he was telling us all the information about this cave and then he offers prayers and blessings. Um, <clears throat> but what he mentioned is that there's supposed to be another cave entrance. And I think the cave entrance has to be down here. It has to be. Physically looking at the geographics of this place is that when this sinkhole caved in, all the rocks and the dirt had to fall down. And he said there has to be another entrance to this cave. And I think that if that's where the entrance is, it will have to be right here in this spot. Our dragon could still be down there, probably sleeping. The entrance got, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the entrance got blocked. So I've been out of America for a long time, so my English is bad now. <laughs> but the, 
all this debris went down probably covered up this side because you can just see how the ground just moves down in the slope and eventually made its way down here so if there was another part of the cave it'll be probably in this area so i'm very curious and see how much like excavation how much is like research has been done in this cave um i haven't really traveled to a lot of caves I think the last one was Ravana Falls, which was also another nationally historic location in Sri Lanka. But this is another historic spot that was recently unearthed. So it still means that people probably don't know too much history of this place. And you know, I love dragons, so I'm definitely believing there's probably dragons. An excavation? Yeah. Chinese tourists come here. No. A lot of Chinese tourists come here because they love stories about dragons and they feel that it was like home of dragons. Ah, so if you heard avocado, a bunch of Chinese tourists come over here because they love hearing about dragon stories because they believe dragons are mythical gods pretty much. And I, I, I just believe in dragons, but I mean, who knows, maybe one day, but it, I just wanted to give you a little bit of the insight, just listening to the old man talk about, the old wise man talk about this place. Damn, the COVID propaganda got here too. That's unfortunate. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Come on, you can do better. <laughs> it's like shooting, you know? And now it's like shooting. <laughs> Who's going to play me? That guy going to. No, no, no. So now we are at Damalak Anna, which she is the symbol of motherhood and then also um, procreation for the people of Kazakhstan. So this is a holy site as well, and uh, she was like a very, uh, very special person. She she also had the power of future site so she predicted a lot of things and uh, this is the mausoleum that the Kazakh people have made for her and when she said if I die and I pass away do not bury me near some place I, mean, I can't say the word but uh, she said put me on a white camel and then wherever the camel kneels that's where you're gonna bury me and this is looks like where the camel kneeled and turned out turned to be this great place in the middle of nowhere again a lot of these great places are in the middle of nowhere you start noticing a trend it's also um, a lot of places also heal so I'm gonna pay my respects on trying to end my vlog right here probably try to get some footage here and there um, but all right stay tuned on this adventure side note for everyone there's a lot of tulips here they're called wild tulips and you're not supposed to pick them because Cause then you're gonna have to pay a five thousand tenge fee. Mm, more. Oh, okay, more. But they say it's bad luck to take the tulips. All right. And don't whistle too, cause I learned the hard way. Huh? <laughs> 
what? What to me? Join me, join me. I've been doing shows. Now we in the state. Remember sleeping on the floor. Uh, Praise the night the gas station. When the uh, times go. Three. In the kitchen. I've been losing me. Join me, join me. No. Watch them take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go I don't wanna live life fast or die too young Die too young Hundred miles per hour, I might crash cause a good die young It a good die young Push it to the limit, I can't go no more Red light, no way I'm coming back